Perhaps I could ask if I just uh, yeah. uh, My name is Jane Rowe, I'm the Head of Science at Ralph Thorsby School in uh, the City of Leeds, which is a uh, sort of small to medium sized uh, secondary school. Thanks. So you've been involved with the ISA project? Yep. Can you talk, why did you decide to get involved? Uh, personal interest, it just sounded interesting, it you know, sounded fun. Yeah. Um, chance to sort of have a, an opportunity to have a personal reflection over here with a bit of research and in science education. And so what did your involvement uh, entail? Uh, every, every year an interview uh, took about an hour, an hour and a half, so a, a videoed interview um, which was then transcribed and included in papers. Yeah. So just a minimum impact really on the input, sorry. And reflecting back, <coughs> would you say there's been any particular challenges or barriers to take into Not really, no, because it's not been a huge burden on my work, though, yeah. so you know, it's been fine. It's yeah. been fine. And do you think there's been any particular value or benefits to having taken part? Um, maybe from my own personal point of view, been an opportunity to put forward some of my um, opinions about science education um, and hope that perhaps certain things get published so when, when the project is written up certain things might get into public forum instead of just being a way of private um, opinion. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. And it, it, it is me, we're quite interested in how research can better inform practice, but yeah. also how practice can better inform research. It, in your own view, have you got any suggestions or ideas for either for us as TISME or more widely for the government? Yeah, I think more, it's probably more widely. We were looking at some of the thoughts about maybe uh, being able to open up channels for discussion between researchers mm -hmm. and the teaching profession right. and something like the ISA project it's not the, it's not been particularly onerous in terms of time mm -hmm. but it has been very very uh, empowering I suppose in terms of impact so that those sorts of things like getting involved in a, in a yearly interview or focus group or I mean one of the things I, t I mentioned in my talk was to maybe open up the channel to using the awarding bodies right. a little bit more because maybe they would be um, a channel sort of direct to mm. curriculum writers and government because they have, I mean, we were discussing they have a charitable status. They do obviously have to have some impact. Right. Because they have to do something for us. Yes. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that was my yeah. thought. Yeah. Is there anything else? Um, maybe some of the, uh, I mean, I know there's been, in, in history, there's been working parties, there's been working groups. Um, obviously, that's another thought. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I've come up with anything new or innovative, but these are certainly channels that I think need to be able to look at And finally, if there are any other teachers that, uh, who might be thinking about getting involved in research, have you got any messages or suggestions for them? Get involved, it's interesting. It gives you an opportunity to see your own subject and your own profession in a very, very different light. So I would just say, don't hesitate to get involved. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers. And I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> I'll ask you on the news button. I should be able to work it out now, but I'm worried, I'm worried that I'm going to have something. Yeah. Behind the curtains. I'm just going to get it. Alright, I'm going to sit. I was thinking I'd just put close the curtains now. Sorry, but if you show me a little bit of this, I could...